And welcome back. This final segment of the Sports Source brought to you by Express Frame. Whether it's a diploma, family heirloom in need of a, a case or a shadow box, a collectible, a ticket, magazine, newspaper, some other sports memorabilia, or just a fantastic piece of artwork, go to the best frame shop in East Tennessee. I've been telling you about these guys for years since we first started this show. They've been with us almost the whole run. Express Frame in the Common Shopping Center on North Peters Road. I know most of the guys here have uh, also been out there and used them and everybody's been happy with them. They do great, great work. My whole house is basically Express Frame. I've, I've built them. They should be in a new building. I've given them so much money. <laughs> Express Frame. All right. Uh, we talked a lot about collectives today. Uh, really good article, David. Again, I give you credit Appreciate for that. Appreciate it. Uh, but I want to know whether you think this stuff is good for college sports. We got three minutes here. And I'm not talking, yes, it's fair. And the idea of it is fine. But it is, the, it is a wilder west than, anyone than most people anticipate. Is NIL, are NIL and collectives together going to make college sports better or worse? And I know the option to say, well, we'll have to wait and see. I'm yeah. not going to let you say it. you got to say better or worse, which way you think it's going. And give me a why if you got it. I'm, I'm going to go at least short term it's going to make it worse because I go back to the start of NFL free agency decades ago. It made it worse as a fan. I'm attached to this guy. I like this guy. And now he's going to go and he's going to play for the Green Bay Packers. You know, that makes it hard. And I think Tennessee is probably going to see guys you're going to see more Henry Toa Toas, a popular player that's going to leave your team for greener pastures elsewhere. And, and the money, it's not just going to be transfer portal. The money's going to be pulling some guys away from your team. Take Ziegler, Josiah Ziegler. Nobody wanted him. Tennessee's got him. What if somebody says, man, too many years? We could use him. Come here and play basketball, and he can go. So I'm going to say, at least in the short term, worse. Okay. Uh I'll say better uh, long, in the long run. I'll say better because I think the one thing is there are a lot of fan bases out there that have passion, and that means money in this case. And I think it's going to level the playing field and lead to more parity in the end. I think in the, in the short term, fans are going to look at this and say this is bad for sports. I don't like players looking at this as a business. At the end of the day, it's been a business for a long time. It's just been players trying to look out for their long-term future and not getting necessarily paid while they're in school. Now they're getting paid, but they're still looking out for their long-term future. So once they get past the initial shock, I think for the first few years of, of that and the difference of how they'll look at players, I think the, the net result is a, a more parity across the landscape, and that makes it a better, more competitive sport. Jimmy, 60 seconds. Well, I don't think it's going to lead to more parity. I, I okay. think the, the haves will still have it, and I don't think it's going to all of a sudden make Nebraska and Tennessee great. And I'm, I'm with Bob. I think it's going to be worse. I, I think for me, I grew up loving college football, and uh, this is the, my favorite sport. And mm -hmm. as you started covering it, you start writing it, you, you get your nose pressed up against the glass, and you see how the sausage is made. And you kind of have to hold your <laughs> nose and say, I don't, I don't like this. And with NIL and, and with the market caps being removed, it's a little more palatable to me. And it makes me love the sport even more because it's less exploitive and it's easier to consume for me. So for me, I think better. I think there's some fans out there that feel like I do. I think it's going to, I think it's going to be worse for an old fuddy-duddy reason. I think it's going to drive more of the individual crap that Patton didn't like. Mm. Uh, I think if you're telling guys it's all about this cash and you're doing your photo shoots and everything's about me, 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 and then a coach has to come in and say, now, there's no I in team. I think it's <laughs> going to be harder to team build, and I wonder what's going to happen with rosters inside these rooms because even in the NFL, you got guys that look sideways at each other because he's making that much. I just wonder how that's going to tear up rosters moving forward. But we'll see. Guys, thank you very much. Great mm -hmm. job today. I'm sorry it was rushed. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Sunday right back here on The Sports Source.